Just a quick disclaimer, if you hear a dog barking in the background, that's technically not my fault. Hello and welcome back to another Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Calendar and how to embed it on basically every platform I've ever shown you on this channel. I'm going to attempt to put them all in one video, so here we go. So first things first, I've gone to calendar.google.com and I've logged into my account and you can see that Google Calendar has indeed actually been updated and there's some pretty interesting changes and some different locations of which to find things. So I'm just going to get started with the basics of Google Calendar and how to add events. So let's say I wanted to add a event for two weeks from now. I can click on the day. I can add a title. I can select the date. I can have it last all day or I can just have it be from one day to another day at a particular time. So I'm gonna have it start on that day and end on the 20th. There's the two different days and I can change the time. I'm not gonna bother doing that for this video. And I can choose which calendar I want it in. And then I can hit save. If that's all I need to do, I can apply more options. Then you can add whether or not you want to have the availability of a Google Hangout or like a video call type option. You can have a notification or an email notification sent to you 30 minutes prior. Oh, you can customize it now. You can have it be minutes, hours, days, weeks, and you can add multiple notifications. I believe you can only do five at most. And again, choose which calendar. You can choose the color. Say if you're busy or free, add a description and some text and add some links. And you can invite others by adding guests that way. Add location. It's pretty self-explanatory. So let's say you want to share a calendar with someone. You can come up to your calendars and click the three dots, settings and sharing. And then you can share with specific people and then you'll select add people. And you'll select people and then you can give them certain permissions. And again, you can change notifications for each calendar. And this is where we can get our embed code, which I will get into very shortly. And you can also remove calendar. I'm gonna go back one level. You can also add more calendars. You can create a new one. You can browse calendars of interest. The dark side of you can import from URL and you can import from somewhere on your computer then you can add it to a, one of your existing calendars. All right, getting into the embedding of your calendar. So I can now come over to settings and sharing, scroll down to the integrate calendar section. I'm going to get the embed code and I can customize it even further. I can add multiple calendars to this calendar. I can select the time zone, and this is my time zone. I can select what day it starts on. I can select the language. I can select the border color. I can give it a border if I want. I can choose if it's shown by week or as a agenda, but I want the month and yeah, make sure everything gets updated. I can now select all of this code. I'm gonna start by showing you how to embed it in Tumblr and I'm just gonna kind of work my way down as much as possible. So I'm over in Tumblr. I'm going to come over to my edit appearance for my blog. I have to come over to edit theme. Wait for this to load. I'm going to come down to pages. I'm going to come over to HTML. I'm going to paste my code, hit update preview, and ta-da, there is our calendar. And we could adjust the height and whatever from our embed code. And we can give it a custom URL and give it a title. And then again, we can decide if we want to have this page be shown on our website. I do not, and I'm not going to save this page, but then if you wanted to add more text to this page, you could. And so we have our large black line over there. I'm going to come over to the end of it and hit return. I can start typing some text. And we can do the same thing, vice versa, by coming to the edge of it, hit enter, and type more text on top. Again, update preview, and if I was going to actually be using this page, we'd hit save. Since I'm not, I'm going to move on to blogger. All right, I'll come over to pages, going to select new page, going to come over to HTML, going to paste our code, and then come back over and basically do the exact same thing. <laughs> Then we can preview what that looks like. And depending on your template, you might have to adjust the width of your content, but I'm not going to do that, but I'm gonna verbally say it. So that way you know that 
that's a thing you would have to do or you can adjust the width of your calendar now I can come over to my layout and if I want a calendar in my sidebar or perhaps in my footer you can add a gadget come over to the HTML JavaScript select the plus button make sure you're in HTML mode paste your code give it a title hit save save arrangement preview and there we have our calendar so again you'd have to adjust the width of your content or pick the agenda layout so that's how you do it in blogger going to come over to weebly and going to do the same thing going to come over to my pages add a page select standard page going to call it calendar select done build then we can add sections select embed code and drag that over edit custom html paste our code and click out and ta-da there is our calendar and then since Weebly is a drag and drop platform if we wanted something above our calendar we could do that some text and vice versa at the bottom I'm gonna try to get through all these in one video instead of doing multiple parts but you can kind of start to see the idea of what's going on so I'm over in wordpress.com come over to site pages gonna click add make sure I'm in the HTML editor and paste my code and come back over to visual I can kind of click by it do some text more text and that's how you embed that and you're gonna do a similar thing over in wordpress.org come over to my pages add new and give it a title come over to our text editor paste our code and then we can come back over to our visual here's some text more text and then you would publish that page but I'm gonna hit preview and there is our calendar so I know that was really quick but I tried to cover everything so let me know if that was helpful and if there's anything else you would like for me to explain in more detail or make another video into so anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video you can give it a big thumbs up you can click right over here to subscribe to the respective channels and you can click right over here to see my previous video and as always i'll see you in the next tutorial Bye bye